In terms of disorders of pigmentation, you should be familiar with for step one. There are really three types. The first type is going to be albinism. Now, albinism is a disorder of decreased melanin production with a normal number of melanocytes. Now, there are really two ways this can happen. The first is if the patient inherits a defect in tyrosinase. Now, tyrosinase is an enzyme that actually converts tyrosine into other precursors that will eventually turn into melanin. So with an inability of an effective tyrosinase, you're going to have an inability to produce melanin. The other way this can happen is if there's a failure of neural crest cell migration during embryologic development. Melanocytes are derived from neural crest cells, so a failure of these cells to migrate to the skin, for example, will result in albinism. Now, there are two types of albinism you should know about on step one. The first is called ocular albinism. This is an X-linked disorder, and as the name implies, these patients have albinism limited to the eyes. So they have normal melanin in their skin, but no melanin in their eyes. The other type is going to be oculocutaneous albinism. And as this name implies, the eyes and the skin, and actually the hair as well, are going to be affected by a decrease in melanin production. And these patients are going to have an increased risk of all types of skin cancer. Next, we have vitiligo. And there's a picture on your screen now of what this looks like. This is an autoimmune attack on melanocytes. So with the melanocytes being attacked by the body's own immune system, again, you have a decrease in melanin production and these sort of white hypopigmented lesions throughout the body. Next, we have melasma, which is also known as cloasma. And melasma is just a disorder seen in pregnancy that actually has no clinical consequences at all. It's a perfectly normal part of pregnancy. And it's just some hyperpigmentation seen in the face. And sometimes for that reason, it's known as the mask pregnancy, mask in quotes. So this can also be seen with OCP use or oral contraceptives. 